Welcome back to Huffler Garage. So this is going to be another video of our Intex excursion and the uh, age old question, gas versus electric. So with our excursion, we have videos of unboxing it and also adding the transom mount. And as of right now, we've got our 12 volt battery in here and it is mounted to our Mini Coda. 46 force pounds, pounds of force, however electric is done these days. But uh, we're going to put it up against our 3.5 Hankai and uh, see what our top speeds are and how we feel about it. And there we are at full speed. Your life is a highway. I will say the absolute nicest thing about this is that it's quiet. If you can hear anything, literally just the water churning. And at full speed, we average about two and a half miles an hour. I saw that my average, or my top speed, was three miles an hour, which is a little slow. But in this view, it looks like we're going fairly fast. It's very quiet. You hear the turning of the water. But uh, overall, pretty quiet, pretty nice. Not fast by any means. Is that cruising on the Intex? But you know, other than purchasing a battery and purchasing an electric motor, and a meter to be able to meter your battery for how much charge it has. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not fully sell, sold on the uh, electric. But it, is sure, it sure is quiet. So we got our 3.5 Hankai two-stroke mounted up on here. Uh, let's give her a whirl. Nevertheless, it is gas. You don't have to worry about uh, carrying the battery. But 
Voila. Uh oh. Well, I mean, it's really just whether you want to carry an extra fuel can if you want to go distance. It's really the only difference. Yeah. Whereas with electric, it's not like a, a fuel tank where once your fuel tank runs out, you kind of know your distance and you can refill it up and get back. A battery. So our question, gas versus electric. Uh, my personal opinion is I like the electric simply because it is quiet. And by no means getting these motors and this Intex, by no means is that going to be fast. I mean, we were able to get to three miles per hour with electric and four with the gas. At the end of the day, you're really not going that fast. So... Whatever your choice is, whether you want to carry an engine with a gas tank or an electric motor with a battery and get it metered so you know how far you can go, I, I think I'm going to choose the electric. Let us know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe.